everyone, and welcome back to Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Uh, I got a couple of things to talk about today, but also got a lot of stuff to get done today, so we're going to be jumping right into the shenanigans. I forgot to grab my Galaxy Tab out of my suitcase because I just got back from, uh... What am I thinking of? I just got back from Indie PopCon a couple of hours ago, and I didn't record as soon as I got back. I kind of just... I sat down, and I binge-watched My Hero Academia which I won't spoil anything, but I'll probably talk about a little bit in this session, because we're doing post-game stuff, so there's not much to do other than for me to just ramble about things as I wrap up the game. As you can tell, we're playing as Carmelita to start. Uh, as soon as I got back, while I was binge-watching My Hero Academia, I went and shot a lot of ping ones, and also, as a result, a lot of guards, because they keep getting alerted as I shoot the ping ones. But I'm at 30-something ping ones shot, and uh, it should only take one go through. I've kind of got like a good route set out for killing about six ping ones per run every time I go in and out of the safe house. But anyways, we got a lot of stuff that I want to get done today. Is there? I think there's normally a ping one like right here, isn't there? Maybe not. Maybe not. I know there's definitely one further this way. But uh, we're nearly done with this game. Just got a few more achievements to go. Achievements is what we have the most to do of. Achievements, trophies, whatever you want to call them. And then we have uh, the last of the masks, which we're also nearly done with. Die, you stupid elephant. There we go. Get this idiot out of here. Did I get it? Still not enough. Gotta be short like two or three at the most. Game is also getting a little framey. Waddle waddle. Oh, that must have it must have just been delayed for me to get the achievement. But that's the achievement right there. So we got that done. Let's get back over to the safe house. I think this will be the quickest way to go. I don't know why it's being so incredibly framey right now of all times. I know that this episode is pretty much the framiest of the episodes, but still, this is a little ridiculous. Seems to have mostly buffered out now. But anyways, can super jump right here, I think. Love super jumping, mega jumping, whatever they call it. Let's get back in here. I think I'm going to have to be, like, super unprofessional, which this is the post-game, so I don't care as much about being professional. I'm going to have to walk over to my suitcase on the other side of the room while this loading screen goes. Oh, hey, I'm back. Just in time as the loading screen ends, I managed to get my galaxy tab, so we got that now. So now I can look up any info I need for finding masks and whatnot. Sorry about the unprofessionalism. I try and keep away from that, but you know, it happens from time to time. I'm pretty sure I'll never remember to edit that out, nor care enough to do so. Uh, I know one thing we have to do is this. We have to redo the montage mission and do it without any mistakes. So we're going to get this done, and we also have the arcades to do. Uh, I don't think I'm going to finish this in, like, the normal hour-long hour session, even though we only need 28% trophies and 17% masks. But we'll get pretty close. I doubt this will get to part 80. Probably it will take, like, an extra half hour to do after the one hour is up. So, you know, I'm really expecting this series to be done at part 78. In all honesty, because we are really close to done. And I hope to get most everything done before I stop okay, recording tonight. Sorry. Get to skip cinematics. Basically, we're just going to do uh, all of these missions. And every single time I get a strike, we reset. That's that's how we're going to have to do it. Oh my goodness, I can't skip the explanations. That sucks. The mountain goat. A mountain goat. My secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. All right, I got this. Let's go. This is probably my least favorite of all of them, so I figured I'd tackle it first. That and it's pretty much just in order. Stupid penguins. How dare you try and make me drop this dino egg. It is very precious to me. I will make it into the best of omelets. I don't actually like omelets. I'm really weird with food. I'm a super picky eater. I don't like the taste of the yolk in an egg, so I'll only eat the egg whites. I'll like... Oh, oh, I was done. I was about to say, wait, what's happening? But uh, I'll remove the yolk from my egg and just eat the whites. I'm a strange person, which I'm sure if you've been watching me for long, you already know. I cannot skip any of these. I have to listen to Murray talk. 
I can use this time to let you guys listen to Murray's witty banter as I open up the mask site thing so I know where to look for masks. Pretty sure the only mask we have left in this episode is the, uh... I gotta focus on this, sorry. Because I'm not allowed any failures. And this one is a tad difficult to time, for me at least. Oh, you know what the hardest thing is gonna be? Is that... I hate myself. The hardest thing is going to be when I, uh, I hope this doesn't reset the egg challenge I already did. No, it just resets this. Good. Oh, and I don't have to listen to Murray again. Perfect. The, the creators of the game knew that this would be a thing that people would try and do over and over again for the achievement, and they're like, yeah, we'll have some mercy on them. The hardest thing is going to be the mega montage, where that I remember that uh, there was one time I had to do the pterodactyl shot thing, and a pterodactyl was like halfway across the screen at the very start in the montage. So it's really hard to time that right. So that's going to be the most difficult, probably. Penguins would get irritable. Let's go over here and do the dodging one. But this is actually uh, going pretty quick. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. You develop cat-like reflexes. But, like, without all the hairballs and stuff. Thank goodness. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This I think the only, simple. uh, Dodge the only the mask pain. we have less left in this episode is the arcade, isn't it? I don't know what arcade game is in this one, though. Do, 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 do. Dodging a penguin is not going to assist me in dodging a bullet. I almost went left there instead of, uh... Up, so that was almost really bad. Oh, uh, you know what I should talk about in this session is my indie popcorn experience, which I tweeted about a bit. Uh, I loved it. It was great. It was my first convention. Uh, got to meet Nate wants to battle. If you don't know who he is, he's a uh, pretty much a Pokemon YouTuber who does a lot of music stuff for anime and Zelda and other things. But uh, he's known a lot for Pokemon. But he does some other things as well, and he's just a really cool dude. Love his music. And he was really great to meet. He was really cool. Got a signature, got a picture with him. I went to his Q&A panel. It was great. Got to uh, got to go to the Kevin Smith event and see Kevin Smith's new upcoming movie, which was a little ridiculous, but I'm not going to say anything about it, obviously, because it's not released yet. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Obviously, I need to follow the on-screen imprints. But, uh, that was really cool. Uh, I went to some different panels for different things. Nate's panel and, uh, Kevin Smith's stuff. And I went to, uh, some Pokemon panels and some anime panels in general. Also bought some cool merchandise. Got some replicas of the Oathkeeper and Oblivion Keyblades, which, if you've been on the channel for a while, you probably know that I am quite a fan of the Kingdom Hearts series, especially those two Keyblades. Uh, I got some necklaces. I got a fairy tale necklace and a Sharingan necklace. Got some really cool stuff. It was it was a lot of fun overall. I really enjoyed it. I also uh, have replicas of the first generation of Pokemon's badges and the second generation of Pokemon's badges, or not the second, the third generation. My mistake. I won the first generation one. I went to a Pokemon trivia panel where they selected ten people from the audience. I luckily was chosen, and I won the whole thing. And got the Kanto badges as a result, and then I went and bought the third gen badges. Because I had the first gen badges, and the third gen is my favorite gen, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come back next year. Let me see if I can just kind of start collecting the badges. This is gonna be one of the more difficult ones, this challenge, because it's got the, uh. Uh, if they fly by, I have to shoot at them. If they fly by and get past me, then it counts as a loss. So I have to hit every single one of these. Hopefully I can time this well. Uh, pretty easy so far. It's pretty simple to hit him in the center, so I just gotta focus on that. That one was almost bad, but I made it work. That was also almost a little too late, but again, I made it work. And I thought that was too early, but I made it work again. Man, I'm good. I thought I'd be rusty coming back to this game, despite being in the post-game, but, you know. I guess you can never really be rusty at Sly Cooper, or I can't at least. It's too internalized in my mind. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split second calls, Let's do this. you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. I will, don't worry. But anyways, yeah, Indie Popcon was a ton of fun, got some really cool stuff, really enjoyed it. Definitely gonna go again next year. Gotta focus on this a little bit right now. Because this is the last one before the Mega Montage. And 
the Mega Montage goes a little bit quicker because you don't need as many uh, points as every other mission. Almost got it. We've only messed up once on the swinging one, so that's good. Might have spoken a little too soon, but I've still... I've only got one more to hit, so I don't think so. Easy. So yeah, we only messed up once on the swinging one, and only the one time, so... Hopefully we can get this montage pretty easily. Can I skip this? No, I can't. Come on. Come on, Murray. Let me skip this. But there's one last test. You've got to put it all together. Everything at once. Sort of like a triple-decker pizza. You know what you gotta do. Now make the Murray proud. All right, let's do this. Nope. I said nope. Not gonna touch me. We can do this, Bob. I believe in you. You're the best. You're the best around. No, oh no, oh no. This is where I could fail miserably. This and the pterodactyl thing. Those are the two most dangerous. And maybe the egg thing, but I think I can do that, okay. Alright, got that done. What's next? Can I skip this? No, I can't. I can't skip anything. We just have to sit through it all. Alright, here we go. Carefully, Bob. Carefully. Carefully. Don't lose the egg, buddy. I believe in you. I don't want to have to reset. I imagine if I have to reset to checkpoint on the montage, it'll either reset me to the nearest, like, little uh, cinematic in the middle, or it's going to reset me to the very start. One of those two things. Am I good? Am I good? Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. Let's go. Stupid penguins. How did Murray convince all these penguins to just let me beat the tar out of them for training? He must have uh, sweet-talked them pretty well. You're getting there, Bob. You're getting there. Okay, I'm definitely not going to lose this. This is like the easiest thing to do. Out of all of them, probably. To be perfectly honest. I don't see how you could fail at this one. Fall, you stupid penguin. Fall. Fall, I say. Fall to the might of Bob Koopa. The ancient prehistoric Koopa of legends. Come on, go off the edge. Go off the edge. Did I get it? No. Almost. There we go. Stupid penguin. All right, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Got it. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness, I hate myself. I hate myself. Restart. <laughs> Please don't take me all the way to the very beginning of this. I, I think I'm all the way at the very beginning of it. Yeah, I am. Dang it. If you mess up once, you have to start all over. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. Uh, if I fail again, I'm probably gonna have to start cutting stuff out, because... It's going to be really annoying to sit here and watch me do this numerous times if I do, in fact, fail numerous times. I should be able to do it, though. This isn't too difficult. It's just really easy to make one small slip-up, especially with the pterodactyl thing. I'm not good at that, or the swinging the club. But it's okay, because I'm the best around, like we said earlier. I can do this. Or, more specifically, Bob is, and I'm channeling Bob's inner strength right now, so clearly I know what I'm doing. We got the arcades to do after this. That's why I don't think I'm going to finish within the hours, because the arcades take really long, surprisingly. All right. Let's do this. I really, I'm, I want to commentate more, but I really need to focus. I don't want to have to do this again. Oh, hey, it didn't make me go through the first cutscene again, I don't think. Okay, got that. Focus, focus focus. Oh my goodness, that was so close. I thought I missed it for sure. Dang it! Stupid pterodactyl thing! Coming from the left, especially. Ugh. Alright. If I fail one more time, I failed that one pretty quick, so if I fail one more time, then I'm going to start cutting stuff. This is so annoying. I really like this level, too. This is really cool, the whole montage thing and the way they set up all these different little actions to go through. But when you have to repeat it constantly to get an achievement, it's really irritating. It didn't go through this cutscene last time, did it? Or am I just insane? Could just be insane. I don't know. Okay. This I have no trouble with. It's basically just the pterodactyl thing. That's what I failed on both times so far. Back to this. I don't remember how many of the challenges you have to go through over again. Also, after this, we're going to do the arcade in episode three. I can't remember if I did the arcade in uh, the very first episode. 
I don't think, or the epilogue prologue, I don't think I did. But apparently there is one there. I saw it as uh, listed on the mask thing because it was saying there was a mask in it. So we got to do that one too. I don't know if I've done it or not. Okay, I definitely should have missed that, but whatever. I, I'm going to start... I don't want to cut stuff out because it's so annoying to do, especially with this capture card. 